you just got finished installing a fresh copy of Windows and found out that not all the drivers are there. It looks like that. Well, these drivers have to be installed in order for Windows to function correctly. So whether you installed a fresh copy of Windows due to replacing the hard drive, uh, or you got infected with viruses, your computer crashed, whatever the reason is, I'm going to show you how to install those drivers. So stay tuned and let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is to right click our start button a menu appears. You go in to scroll up to Device Manager. Let that open up. I'm going to resize this a little bit because I'm going to open up another window. That other window is called Settings. So this time we're going to just regularly uh, click the Start button and click on that gear called Settings. This is on Windows 10. Now, yours may look a little bit different than this one if you're on 11, but the same steps apply. I'm going to make this window bigger just in case yours looks like that. If it doesn't, well, you can make it look that way. You scroll down to the bottom, or you look down at the bottom if your screen is bigger. I would suggest you resize this like I've been doing and click Update and Security. Now, if you want, you can keep the window like this and just scroll down. Either way works. You click on Update and Security. Then come here at the top and click on Windows Update. Remember, this is Windows 10. It's going to scan for missing uh, updates. You see that it does not show any drivers. What we do is we click on View All Optional Updates. So click on that. It'll scan and it shows you driver updates. So click on that. And here are these missing drivers that are here in Device Manager, listed here. So what we do is we're going to click on these. And unfortunately, there's no Select All button. If there was, that's what we would do. And we'll just click on these and make sure that we have them all checked. So just review it, make sure they're all there. Then click Download and Install. Now Windows is scanning. And as you see, it's now going to start downloading. And as it does this, as it installs, you're going to watch these devices that are listed in Device Manager get installed. And this window will change as it does so. So let that go on. And when we're done, we'll come back. I'm going to put, I'm going to speed up and you come back when you're done. Okay, now we're ready to restart the computer. So that's what we're going to do. Just click on that restart button. As you can see, all the devices are listed here. All right, so just go ahead and click restart now. We're in the boot process. We have our Windows 10 logo and we have our circular hourglass. So all this is good news. Okay, now we're at the please wait. So we're doing good here. Okay, we're almost there. Yeah, there's my name. So now that it's come back into Windows, you just have to let um, background services uh, run and we'll be ready to go. But I'm going to show you that uh, the thing that was the most important to know about is this, is that even though all the device drivers are now installed, make sure that you have all of the Windows updates now installed. So click, click your Start button, click on the Settings button again, go to Windows Updates, Update and Security. Click on up Windows Update. And now click on that Download and Install if that exists there. Or if it doesn't, just check for updates, whichever one. But let it just continue updating for security patches and any optional updates that are available to you. So that's how we install the device drivers for Windows 10. The same uh, procedure applies to Windows 11. So my name is Paul, subscribe to the channel, click like, leave a comment, and I'll see you again in the next video.